Now that the preparation is done, it's time to get started on your workpiece. Before you start cutting the parts for the frame of a footrest, you must first square the wooden piece. Select the wooden face that is free from knots and shakes. Fix the wooden plank to the bench vise and tighten it for support. Use a jack plane to plane the face side and its edge flat. Check with the tri-square for its trueness. If required, plane the side further as desired and mark it with a pencil. This is now your face edge. All other measurements must be taken from either face side or face edge. Step 2. Measure mark the dimensions for the frame to the specifications provided in the drawing. Use this pencil to mark the length of the tapering cut for the sides. Fix the workpiece on the workbench with a G-clamp for support. Ensure to keep two scrap wood on the workpiece to avoid any marring by the clamp. Use the handsaw to cut the pieces on the marked lines. Similarly, prepare the other side. Now, nail both the side pieces together with two wire nails. Fix them to the bench vise on the workbench for support. Plane the unfinished side down to the lines so they both are of the same size. Keep checking with the tri-square for its trueness and smoothen all the sides. Separate both the pieces and remove the wire nails with the help of a pincer. This is now the side support of your footrest. Step 3. Measure the height of the side support and mark the same onto the rear piece. Use a steel ruler and a pencil to mark the length. Fix the workpiece on the workbench with a G-clamp for support. Ensure to keep two scrap wood on the workpiece to avoid any marring by the clamp. Use the handsaw to cut the piece on the marked lines. Similarly, prepare the front side support. Now you are ready. These components will make the frame of the footrest. Step 4. Dry fit the components to check if they sit flush. 
place the rear support in between the two side supports so that they sit flush on either end of the rear support. The front support should sit snugly between the side supports. The top of the front and rear support should be flush with the tops of the side supports. When the fit looks good, affix them together by applying some glue on the joining sides of the components. Step 5. Use a brush to apply glue on the joining sides of all the pieces. Then hammer some wire nails into each of the side supports edges. Don't hammer them all the way in. Fix the rear support and the front support to the edge of the side support and hammer the nails all the way in. Affix the other side support in the same manner. Wipe off any excess glue with a damp cloth. Smoothen the top edges flush with the side support and ensure that the edges are flat for the strips to be placed evenly. Step 6. While you leave the glue to dry, start cutting the strips that will make the top of your footrest. Measure the frame width from edge to edge and mark a line on the wooden strip to be cut. Hold the strip on the workbench against the bench top for support and cut it on the marked line with a hand saw. Measure and set the marking gauge to the required thickness and mark a line on both edges from the face side. Using a jack plane, bring them to the required dimension. Most foot rests have spaces between the strips so that the grime from the shoe sole is easily dusted off. How much space you choose is up to you. Ideally, a gap of 4 mm is suitable between each strip. Ensure each strip is of the same thickness, width and length. Else the footrest will look less professional when put together. Step 7. Place the first strip adjoining the rear support piece. Adjust the strip so it is flush with the top edges of the side support sides. Drive a nail on either side of the strip. Leave a gap of 4 mm and place the second strip. Continue nailing all the strips into place, dispersing them at an equal distance until you reach the end of the frame, which will have seven strips fitted. Step 8. Once your project is assembled, use a sandpaper to smoothen down the rough edges and finish with a top coat of your choice. Use this practical guide to make a footrest of your own. Here is a recap of the broad steps you need to perform to complete the workpiece. First, square the wooden pieces. Second, mark and cut the side support to size. Third, mark and cut the rear and front support to size. Fourth, dry fit the components. Fifth, apply glue and assemble the frame. 
Sixth, cut out the strips. Seventh, assemble the strips. Step 8. Give finishing touches.